What's up, TGS crew? This is your boy, Perfect Blue, and I'm here with our week seven battle of the TGS. We're against T. Row Price. So he has the uh, Darkrai, Terra Latios, Iron Hands, Clefable, Skarm, Tenacruel, Mamoswine, Bramblegast, Rabu, and Alolan Golem. Uh, I'm gonna just get right into the team because, you know, we're, we're about to uh, play. So first one I have here is um, Sash Dragapult. I mean, reason for this is I want to set up a Gambit endgame because I think Terra Fairy Gambit's really strong against this team. So my thought is I lead Dragapult, I get status on something, uh, and go from there. Uh, honestly, like, between, like, Clef, there's an Iron Hands. Look, there's a lot for the Dragapult to deal with, so I just went with Sash just to, like, because I can T-Wave the Darkrai, Latios, and stuff uh oh there's challenge right there i'll go th across the team uh kind of quickly um go look at fun okay so uh looking at this what doesn't come there's no skarmory okay so the hazard setters are going to be the clef and the mammo uh it could also be t spikes on tenacruel i don't have removal on this team so that is kind of annoying um yeah, so, uh, Terra Gambit endgame, that's kind of what I want to set up here. Uh, I think it's really strong. I just want max speed. I'll have to scout out some sets to, uh, help with that. We have, a uh, Assault Vesta Zoomerill. This is my main switch into Darkrai. Can take a hit from it. Uh, hit it with something strong. Uh, the creep here I went for was just, a uh, Clef. Uh, I didn't really know what to creep. Uh, Thundee, uh... Here we have plot three attacks. I think this is just a really strong breaker against this team. Uh, yes, the Mammoth Swine can revenge me, but, uh, you know, we're just going with uh, three attacks here. Trying to trade so that my King Gambit can win endgame. Crook, uh, we just went with Helmet. Uh, yeah, just Helmet Crook here. Um... Really, just to... Uh, I wanted Helmet, because Taunt plus Helmet allows me to chip the Skarm, take Sturdy off, and get Rocks off that he can't defog, because I think Hazards are really nice. And then Alola Ninetales, we just won't call mine three attacks. Uh, I I just wanted a goofy set here. Um, let's link the game in TGS. Uh, there we go. And uh, so, yeah, we're playing here. Lead off with Dragapult. Uh, get status on something. Uh, if it is Clef that comes out, like, I mean, getting a T-Wave off on that is pretty cool. So not really against that. And if I do get the Will-O-Wisp off with the pull, uh, against the Clef, like, e even if I do burn it, uh, I can come into Hex later. So, like, it's not the end of the world. Let's see. Because, like, I do about half if it's a uh, defensive clef, which I kind of expect here. Um, it could be a bit mixed because uh, you don't need too much defense to take on my team. Like, cause I have the Thundee, it's annoying for uh, it. But I also have like the Crocodile and the uh, Gallade. So, I mean, those can take it on. So yeah, waiting for T-Row to click his move. Um, Seeing no Skarm here means that, uh, the hazard options from T-Row aren't the great- Okay, so it is a lead Latios. Uh, I'm thinking right here, I just lead off with, uh, a T-Wave. Um, just in case this is Scarf Lotti. Um, I oh wait, hold on. It is Terra Electric, though. Okay, good, good, <laughs> good thing I looked at that really quick. Um, man, okay, this makes it a lot more difficult. So the reason it is Terra Electric against my team, uh, is to likely catch out the Azumarill, uh, do, does a lot more damage there. It can also set up, set up on the Thunderous. Uh, does he lose anything by Terra Electricking here? I don't think so. So I think my play actually is to just darts here. If the Clef does come in, that means rocks do go up. What's my switch into Clef if it comes in? Not, not the best switch-ins here. I mean, I probably have to sack health on my Azu. Uh, that is kind of fine though, because I can try to fire off a big hit with my Azu, knock something off, uh, can force things that way. So 
I, th I could just darts here as well. Yeah, I, I think darts in here is probably my best play. He might want to get the Terra off though. Yeah, I'm just going to darts here. Um, Get some damage off on the Latios. The click here is flip turn. Okay, interesting. Very interesting click there. Um, This tells me that it is probably Specs Latios if... He goes right for the flip turn there. Um, can I get a spread on this? So it is Terra Electric, so it can obviously take the uh, Dragon Darts a bit better. Damage seems about right. Now the Mamoswine does come in. So I have two options here, really. Um, I could go into my Alolan Ninetales and start firing off Coal Mines. Or I can... Will wisp this and that could make it easier for my nine tails to set up call mines. If I let's see, if I set up call mines, what do I do? Where do I go from there? It is scar it is potential spec slotty, which is annoying. It could probably trick me. And a uh, draining kiss versus tenacruel is not good. I literally just noticed this now, but yeah, um, let's see. Because Mamel definitely two shots my team, like that's. That's the thing. Azu probably takes a hit, but I want health on that. I'm just going to Wisp it, actually. Uh, just get the rocks up. That is fine. Um, though, because... I do get the burn off on this thing. And because it is burnt, uh, Hex is technically my strongest uh, move for it now. Um, yeah, I could just fire off a Hex here. I could also just switch into my nine. Uh, no, nah, I think hexing is a play here. Um, does go for the ice shard. Does the cleft come in here? Because I think this is really good setup potential for my um for my nine tails. I could just thun hard thunder wave here. Um, and that covers hex from, or it covers him predicting my hex here and getting a free switch into the dark rye or clef i'm just going to thunder wave here hopefully he dies from this yeah i'm just going to thunder wave again just to prevent those from coming in okay i can call mind here for free heavy slam I didn't know it gets that. Oh. <laughs> well. <laughs> okay. That's, yeah, that's a little of nine tails for you, I guess. Um. Sorry. Probably will happen again, though. Um, yeah, that's really bad. <laughs> uh. Let's see, what's his best switch in here i could go into fundy i don't hate that get up a nasty plot i get up a nasty plot against tent to cruel clefable if dark right does, does come in that is a bit annoying but i do have a zoom rail here um if i go into crook i mean i could just get rocks up i mean rocks aren't the greatest G game is literally my end game play so i'll save it there um Let's see. I think I just thunder here. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. Do I kill the Latios from here? Uh, I definitely don't, actually. Um, because it is Terra Electric. Um... Because if this is Specs, which I think it is... Um, let's see. Then the play here might be Thunderbolt, um, from Tiro. And if that's the case, it's going to do a lot to my Thunderous. To the point where Darkrai will be able to kill it after. Um, I could just Psychic here. That does cover the Iron Hands coming in. 
just gonna psychic get, get some damage off. That's not gonna kill. Um, Draco is going to kill me though. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, this is not very good for me. I'm gonna be honest. Um. So this Latios, it's basically useless here, right? Cause. Let's see here. How does Gambit win this game? Uh, probably a bit more chip on Tentacruel, um, is what I want. Um, because if I am Terra Fairy, then obviously Clear Smog will be able to affect me. Sludge Bomb will as well. And tearing is my way to hit Clef as well, so it's kind of difficult there. I could go into my Azumarill as well. Let's see. So Azumarill means that Iron Hands or Tentacruel comes in after. Uh, I can get some chip on Tentacruel that way. If I go Crocodile here, I can get Rocks up. But then Clef comes in for free. I could probably knock it and then Earthquake. I have Taunt as well. Um, let's see here. Uh, well, Ninetales is really bad. Also, I... Didn't uh, heavy heavy slam? That's a that's a good bring. I want to take the dark right hit later. I think with my Azu, so I'm thinking I go crook here and get rocks. Cause let's see, I don't really need crook healthy here, right? No, I I think Azu is the safer play though, cause I guarantee a kill. Cause I know it is specs. Or not, not a kill, but I'd guarantee big damage on something. Yeah, I'm going to go Azu here. And I'm just going to knock off if the Tentacruel does come in, then, you know, that's uh, fine because I am able to chip it. Helps my King Gambit late game. Um, so that Sucker Punch can pick it off. Uh, I don't need too much chip on it. I think after the knock, I will be fine. I think the problem is um, Sucker Punch being an optimal click uh, against it. Tentacruel does come in. That's very good, actually. Okay, that's a that's a good crit. Um, unfortunately, this does not put it into Aqua Jet range, but it's close. You know, it's close. Does save the Wadi. That can come in on my Crocodile later. Um, but yeah. So a crit Jet would maybe kill from here based on that damage um i think i just liquidation though ensure damage um yeah sludge bomb does 40 no poison i'm the goat Latios can't come in to revenge me um because i can aqua jet it if it's dark eye that comes in then uh, i mean sludge bomb could kill me from this range it's a roll um as I know I EV'd this to take a plus two sludge bomb. Clef does come in. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's see. I could just start firing off play roughs. I could also knock it off. Is knocking it off first the play? Or is play roughing first? I think I fire off play rough until um, I force him to recover. So that I can just knock from there. So yeah, I think I just play rough here. Th that's that's really cool. Um, alluring voice. What does that do again? Wait. Um. Hold on. Um. Well. I I I I don't have any teams to like. A hundred percent confuser. Oh. So it can confuse me if I try to SD with my Gambit. Oh, that's sick. Okay. I'm um, just going to play rough again. Hopefully this will land. Uh, I can take another one, so that's pretty cool. It's not going to do enough, though. That's unfortunate. And I think his play is to probably recover here, like uh, Moonlight or Soft Boiled. So, I mean, I could Liquidation for a drop. What item is it actually? It didn't reveal item. So let's see what item could it be against my team. 
Um, could just be Vibiri. Seventeen point five. That seems like it's not Life Orb, so not sure there. Just going to liquidation here though. Hope for a drop. Moonlight. Okay, so it is unaware. Liquidation for a drop, hopefully. Um, wait, actually, based on that damage, hold on. What is this? Wait, the liquidation did way more than the player off. Yeah, I, I, I'm just going to liquidation again, but, um, damn, that did a, a lot more, so that's kind of funny. So I can't really SD on this. That's an issue. Um, let's see. Can Darkrai kill my King Gambit with Sludge Bomb if I Terra? Because optimally I would Terra on the Darkrai, but let's see. Okay. Sex that off. That's fine. Um, It will probably be Darkrai coming in here then, no? And... Let's see. It'll definitely have Sludge Bomb. I know that. And if it is Life Orb, it would kill my Gambit. So, have to be careful there. Um, let's see. My play, it's pro it's just a Jet here, actually. Um, let's see. If it is Nasty Plot, what do you plot here? Oh, my bad. Um... What do you plot here, if it is Nasty Plot? I also have to keep in mind Hypnosis. I think I just Aqua... Yeah, I mean, I'm just Aqua Jetting here. I'm just thinking ahead a little bit. So that's just 29. Psychic. Psychic? Wait. And it is Life Orb. I'm- well, hold on. What is it set then? Cause, let's see, it needs- okay, Dark Pulse probably. Psychic? Why is Psychic the play there? Cause, that means it's not Sludge Bomb, right? I could, in theory, just SD with my Gambit then, if it is not Sludge Bomb. Cause Sludge Bomb was always a better click th there than Psychic, right? Could just be a bait here? Um... Yeah, um, he, he knows I'm fairy. Yeah, I'm fairy. Just checking. Um, what's stopping me from going Gambit and just SDing? Is it Hypnosis, maybe? Maybe that's his play? Ah, oh, man, but then if my Gambit's sleeping, it's kind of the end of the game there, no? Let's see. I could go into Gambit first, actually, and then bait it with the Crook. Let's see, what would that do? Crook, if it's a double into Iron Hands, that means I can get damage off on it with my Crocodile. And then SD on it with my gambit if it is heavy slam then how much would that do to me actually uh iron hands it's 80 base power against it okay um it do a lot I'm going to go Gambit here, and I'm, I'm going to try to beat the Hypnosis. I think that's my play. Oh. Well, that sucks for T-Row. Oops. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's really bad for T-Row. That means I could just Earthquake here for free, no? I 
a taunt here, I think. Focus Blast. Oh, this is really bad for Tiro, actually. So I do want him to kill me here. Um, that would be cool. Because that means I can get a free SD with my Gambit. It is taunted, so yeah. Um, yeah, that's really bad for T-Row. <laughs> wow. Wow, Focus Blast. That's, uh, that's quite something, huh? Dark Pulse, that's going to do a lot. Holy moly. And then I could just Sucker Punch for... F Actually, hold on. I just noticed, do I even kill Clef? Because it is unaware. And I don't have the... Um, it's unaware. Unaware doesn't ignore... Um, my... Ter my... <laughs> I might not. Oh, that that is really bad, huh? So I could just sucker here. No, I know. My, my play is to just Terror Blast, isn't it? Because he could just come back in with the Dark Rye and then sucker me there. Yeah, I think I just Terror Blast here. Wow. Cool play by me. I know, I know. Um. The thing is, do I kill the Iron Hands? Um, let's assume max HP right now. I, I'm not really sure what it hit. If I'm plus four and burned, do I kill him? I would. But this is also under the impression. Wait, actually, can I even SD on this? Hold on. Um. Yeah, because I'm I'd be confused on it. So I have to just tear blast here. Um. Okay. Dark is going to come in. I'm going to put these up for uh, the boys. So you know. Hopefully, good luck here. Because... I assume this it will have Heavy Slam. Because if the Mammo did, then Iron Hands, it could definitely have it. Uh, AV, I think, makes the most sense against my team, but... Um... I have to SD here to ensure I kill the Iron Hands, I think. Because I'm getting burnt no matter what. Because if I'm not burnt, then I don't kill it if it's max HP. Yeah, I just have to SD here. Okay. I'm burnt though, so this does make a mind game. How much was Dark Pulse doing to me? It did 34.6. I could Terror Blast here. Because he could... He could just spam Will-O-Wisp, right? To the point where 34.6 will be enough to do me in. Uh, oh, the, man. Okay, comes down to Sucker Mind Games then, huh? I think I just Terror Blast then. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm dumb. Man, okay. Um... So let's see, where did I go wrong? Um, forgetting it had Psychic, that's, that's one thing. Um, and losing nine tails. So yeah, that's kind of what we're going to blame the game on there. Uh, th this was a really close game though with T-Row, so a uh, GG's well played. Uh, Alluring Voice, <laughs> okay, that, if I was able to SD on the cluff there, that would have been so nice, but obviously I can't, because I learned what the move did today. Oh well, you know. GG to Tiro. Uh, we, I, I, I don't know what Rise record was before, uh, but we're 0-2 um, in our tenure here, so that's that's obviously great. And yeah, I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Uh, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.